Hey guys, it's Chooster 5000. I got the uh, cover off. Um, got the belt off. I cleaned out all the crap that was under the cover. There's quite a bit of uh, stuff under there. There's some big chunks. Um, probably just grass and mud and whatnot. Um, under the cover, it's actually pretty good. Um, I think if I'm going to do anything, I got I got to take these pulleys off and sandblast them. Um, but the bearings actually aren't bad uh only two of these have just a tiny bit of play in them um i'm cheating spinning them with this drill that way it's kind of close to the rpm that they'll be spinning up to on the tractor um i spun them all with the drill and i got a quarter inch to a quarter to three eighths to a three eighths to a half inch and this is a uh, inch and a sixteenth socket that's what fits down there good um and it's just spinning up with the drill. I think it goes up to 2,500 RPM. And uh, that just gives you a good idea of uh, how the bearings will sound. Um, and out of all of them, the bearings don't sound bad, but this is pretty bad. And uh, I think that's where all my noise is coming from, is that uh, tensioner idler pulley there. Um, I believe I have a new one somewhere. I'm going to have to look. Uh, but it's definitely bad. Um, if that was a lot more quieter and uh, if I could spin it up with the drill here, it probably wouldn't be nearly as loud as um, I was thinking, which is good. But uh, like I said, I gotta, I think I'm gonna have to take off these pulleys and sand them or something like that. Um, take up this reinforcement plate and so on. Just, you know, clean all, the whole thing right up. Um, the deck shield here. It's it's pretty bad. It's rotted off in the back here. Um, there's really nothing left to it on the back side to uh, bolt it down to the mower deck anymore. Um, and that's kind of why you should wash your mower decks every. Uh, well, not maybe not every time you mow, but at least when the grass is wet, because uh, this is what's going to happen. Um, tin work's going to start rotting. But the deck itself is actually pretty sound, so uh, I believe that's the best part. Um, now, the only thing I'm going to have to really do is get a uh, uh, one of these springs, which I think I've got one, uh, one of these pulleys and a couple belts, and uh, find a deck cover. Um, and I believe i got some wheels already um, out on a, uh, another deck outside here. I'll show you that deck. Um, this is... The deck here I can use for parts. I can actually take the roller off of this one as well. Uh, this is a 44 inch. That's uh, obviously way rotted to do any repair work to it. You can see all the big holes in it. Um, I do have some 44 inch deck um, covers, but I know they won't fit. But uh, just for haha's, I might just line it up and see what happens. But uh, I'll probably have to source a new one, or not a new one, but a nicer one. So. Uh, Anyway, I got some wheels on this thing I can take off. Um, I was thinking of taking off the front wheels and mounting them on there, but since the skids on this deck are in such nice shape, I don't believe it needs them. And uh, I'd hate to ruin the deck. So, um, yeah, just clean it up some more and a few parts, and uh, this thing should be pretty nice. So I'll get some more video once I get the entire thing apart here. So we'll see you guys soon.